welcome to our quick lower body workout today. I am using a very thick band. So if you have your loop band, that's gonna be sufficient. But if you would like to make it more challenging, you can either go up a level of resistance or you can use two loop bands together to make it stronger. Okay, so this one's made of material, it's awesome. And we are going to start off with some crab walks side to side along your mat. So we can just get started just by tapping and squeezing the butt, okay? Now, if you have your loop band, you're gonna feel this in your butt straight away. So the whole foot is connecting to the floor as we tap, keeping the tension the whole time on the band as we tap just side to sides before we go into our crab walks, but I can only feel my butt working. So I'm just tapping and tapping. And I just wanted to remind you, if you're doing this with me in the winter series, that, you know, I've mentioned it in one of our other videos that sometimes in winter, in the colder seasons, not just in winter, where there's a lot of darkness, sometimes we fall into seeing more darkness around us as well. Maybe that's in energy, and sometimes it can dampen our spirits a little bit. But remember, behind every cloud is a shining sun. So just remember that when you're having a day where you may be feeling a little bit low, that it's okay. You need to honor yourself, give yourself some space. Now we're just gonna go backwards and backwards, tapping backwards, tap. So squeeze and tap back. And it's really important to honor yourself and to allow yourself to feel how you're feeling, but then also to create momentum forwards for yourself as well. And just remind yourself that it's only temporary. The sun is always there, but sometimes the clouds and the storms come through. So it's just a part of life. Okay, my butt's already on fire and I was not expecting that, but this band is killer. Okay. So, oh, let's stop. Oof. What we're gonna do, I might actually have to take, <coughs> I might have to take my band off already. My butt is gonna like cramp. Holy moly, I recommend these bands. <laughs> okay, we are going to do some crab walks. So let's start on one side. Having your feet just enough to have some tension on your band. We're gonna stick our bum back. So we're tipping like a teapot and then sitting in a bit of a squat. We're gonna step and squeeze our butt. Step and squeeze, step and squeeze, step and squeeze, step and squeeze. And we're just going to go each way along our mat two times over. Squeeze, 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 and squeeze. And then other way, squeeze, squeeze, and squeeze. And then coming up. Now I'm gonna take my band off because my butt's about to cramp. You can keep your band on if you want. We're going to squat and kick. We have two variations. We're going to squat and then kick to the side. Squat and kick to the side. Okay, so we've got this variation first. So continue with me, whether you do a quarter squat or a half squat. If you need to hold on to something in front of you, that's fine. Squeeze your butt and kick. Squeeze your butt and kick. Squeeze, kick out on an angle. So these are really great for the butt, the legs, the side of the butt, ankle stability. Whoops. Okay, we're going for two more. And then we're going to kick directly back behind the body. Kick back behind the body, kick back. Now, if you're doing this a part of your Ski Fit Winter Series, then this is gonna be a really great exercise for you. But you might like to do higher repetitions if you were doing this on your own. Kick and kick and kick and kick. Three more and two, last one and one. Okay, shaking it out. Now we're going into a side lunge with a bit of a variation, okay? So I'm gonna put my hands like so. I'm going to step into a wide squat and then I'm going to tap or reach towards, whoa, 
reach towards my knee and then come down and reach come down and reach now if that's a little bit too much with coordination or with balance then you could just stay like so okay do what feels good for you are you ready we're going for 10 so squeeze and then either come up or stay where you are long deep breathing weight through the entire foot squeeze the butt as soon as you start coming up twisting with the torso if you're coming up squeeze and twist squeeze the butt and twist squeeze the butt squeeze the butt now on the next one we're going to hold down hold hold down long deep breathing stay tall through the crown of the head and then we're going to pulse 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 for four three two and one okay now we're going to do the other leg so either stationary or dynamic like me squeeze the butt and rotate squeeze the butt and rotate squeeze rotate squeeze long deep breathing long deep breathing two to go and then we're going to hold okay now next one we hold down squeeze the butt lengthen the crown of the head and then we pulse and pulse pulse and pulse remember wherever there is challenging moments the sun is always about to shine through so we focus on what we can come back up and shake it out awesome okay you can either pause there and complete if you're doing just like a five more minute sort of thing or you can continue with me just going to put my band back on okay so we're doing our we're just going to do our little side taps side taps squeeze the butt squeeze on every step keep the resistance of the band oh i just love that analogy that whenever you're feeling dark or in the season where you don't really see the sun as much or it's raining and gloomy and it dampens your spirit a little bit i just love knowing that the sun is always shining behind every cloud and we just have to remember that it makes me happy okay now we're going to tap back and then we after we go into our squat kicks long deep breathing So for the rest of the session, is there a little affirmation or something that you could repeat to yourself that would lift your spirits, that would keep you focused? If there is, I encourage you to use it. Okay, we're gonna squat and kick. Squeeze, we're gonna kick straight back first. Squeeze and kick, squeeze and kick. So we're gonna do 10 of each. Kick, kick, five more, four, three and two and one now on an angle kick out on an angle kick out on an angle so whether you're using your booty band or not you're still going to get a great little workout even if you do a quarter squat rather than a half squat two more unless i'm counting wrong which is highly likely okay band off <sighs> my bum okay so we're gonna do our side squats and then we're done you although you could pair this with an upper body workout which I highly recommend okay either stationary up and down or adding the twist squeeze the butt and twist squeeze the butt twist 
squeeze and twist. Squeeze. Long, deep breathing. Use your affirmation if you've got one. Okay, we're gonna hold down, stay down, keep squeezing the butt, keep connected with all your toes and your heel. Little pulses. And other side, we're almost there. Squeeze and cross, squeeze and cross. Squeeze and cross. Squeeze and cross. And cross. And cross. And cross. And cross. And cross. Awesome. Squeeze the butt and cross. And cross. And cross. And cross. And cross. Last one. And holding down, holding down, squeeze, keep squeezing, and little pulses. And stop. Awesome, we're complete. I mean, if you wanna do a third round, you can. Sometimes it's not always necessary about to do as absolutely much as you can. It's about quality movement and efficiency of movement. So for example, if you're feeling quite good, then it's not necessary to always have to continue. So either move on to an upper body workout now or a core workout, or you can just take a moment to stretch. I will leave you to stretch on your own to do your favorite Lower body stretches, it's a little bit of cardio there. But thank you so much for joining me. And remember, the sun is always shining behind every cloud. So no matter how much of a gloomy time or a day you might be having, just remember that on the next day. Bye. <laughs>